Hi, I'm Severio from Hornet Plugins. Today I want to show you our latest plugin, the Elliptic Elliptic is a very peculiar type of equalizer that is meant to be used to fix or uh, the wideness issues with your low frequencies or uh, to fix antiphase uh, problems in your mix. It works by splitting the signal into the mid and side matrix and working only on the side. Uh, the side in this uh, specific kind of uh, channel configuration is the difference between the left and the right channel. So it contains only, uh, let's say, the spe special in, um, information and uh, allows you to uh, tweak only uh, what is perceived by our ear as the stereo image. Uh, if you uh, increase or reduce the level of the side inside the mid-side matrix, uh, you increase or decrease the wideness. If you make some, some kind of equalization on that part, you are actually equalizing only the differences uh, between the left and the right channel. And so uh, you can fix problems that uh, um, may arise in the, mix, in the mixing process. If uh, those differences are too wide, uh, it may cause issues uh, uh, while playback of, of uh, cancellation of certain frequencies or if you are cutting uh, vinyl, uh, he, the head may skip if uh, it has to make jump that are too wide and uh, uh, make those playback problems. Also on larger system like in concerts or clubs or big clubs, uh, if uh, uh, the left channel is too different from the right channel, the audience is not going to hear an homogeneous sound and uh, it may sound weird. So. Uh, what we do with this kind of equalizer is applying a low shelf filter just to the side of the, um, of the signal so that uh, the low frequencies are tweaked and uh, uh, set to the right level leaving only uh, the mono, mono mid uh, information uh, that uh, will always sound good uh, no matter what. Uh, so uh, we also added to this uh, meter, to this um, plugin, I use a full uh, correlation meter that shows you uh, the left and uh, right uh, channels correlation at different frequencies. Uh, the correlation is uh, uh, some sort of uh, whiteness information. If it's uh, on the right set to one, uh, you have a mono signal. If it's on zero, you have uh, the maximum widest possible signal and if it goes negative you have antiphasis problem at that frequency. That means that uh, while um, the cone of one speaker is going forward the other one is going backward. That's uh, what we call antiphase and this causes cancellation issues in uh, while uh, you're listening uh, to, the, to the track. So. Uh, I will show you the interface and let you know what exactly one or each knob does. Here is the guy and we have the main frequency knob here that lets you adjust the frequency of the filter and the width of uh, uh, the signal at that frequency. Uh, as uh, I told you we are applying uh, um, a low shelf filter so the width decrease the gain of this filter uh, from 100% uh, no gain is applied to 0% uh, where uh, minus 30 dB is applied to that filter actually uh, completely reducing uh, uh, the um, side information. We also added an auto function that uh, compares uh, each of these frequency uh, to the original signal and uh, uh, at each moment in time uh, it reduces the whiteness so that uh, they are white but not in antiphase. It's some sort of dynamic uh, width reduction that prevents problems and uh, may quickly help you to fix an issue. Uh, we also added the slope uh, 
selector that lets you select the stiffness of the um, of, of the low shell filter from uh, 12, 24, and 48 dBs. This is the correlation meter I told you before. Uh, this is a very simple plugin, but a very effective one if you have uh, uh, problems. Uh, I have now prepared a small loop that is uh, very wide uh, in, uh, in stereo image and uh, I have created many more problems increasing the witness width of, the, um, of this signal using uh, our uh, track utility MK2 with the width control. I, I'm actually increasing uh, the level of the side uh, component so uh, that the signal is perceived as uh, wider. Uh, but this will cause, and you will see, um, some uh, anti-phase uh, problems uh, with the, at many different frequencies. Uh, I'll show you how the plugin works. you've probably heard uh, the signal is very wide but we have the issue at uh, 2 kilohertz 1 kilohertz and also down here there is sometimes it goes in antiphase so the first thing uh, we are going to do is use a gentle slope because uh, uh, we just want to limit the witness not cut it not cut it completely and set this frequency quite high here I think it's good now. Uh, most of the frequencies are uh, close to one, that means they are mono, but they are uh, moving. So we have some residual uh, width left, and the 2 kilohertz here, that is most problematic frequency, has been almost completely corrected. Uh, if I wanted a more dramatic effect, I could have chosen uh, 48B, for example, that, uh, as uh, you will see, will cause much, uh, the most of the frequency here to stay close to 1. This is uh, at your taste so you can have a more gentle effect or a more drastic one. And uh, if I wanted to uh, follow some, in some way the music and uh, uh, have uh, the plugin judged by itself, I would turn on the auto function and uh, we'll just adjust the frequency and we get, we'll get a different result but a very good one nevertheless. <laughs> As you have seen, uh, we had to lower the frequency here. We could have, you could uh, uh, keep the, um, uh, the, the the low part more intact as a stereo image because uh, the auto function works dynamically uh, at, at each moment. So analyzing uh, um, the continuously the signal, it can vary the width to allow the maximum widthness uh, without compromising the stereo image and uh, um, as you have seen uh, we have almost fixed all the frequencies here but uh, the, the bars doesn't go uh, closer to one as they did before uh, because uh, um, this is a dynamic process as I told you so it only uh, kicks in when uh, the um, difference between the left and the right channel is too wide so 
Uh, this is um, mm, the Hornet Elliptic U and is available on our website www.hornetplugins.com. You can go there, we have a demo for this plugin so you can download it, try it out. Uh, it, uh, com it's completely functional but it goes silent from now and then. And uh, if you like it, uh, you can buy it, just uh, $7.99. And uh, if you have suggestion, as usual, don't hesitate to write us. Thank you very much for watching.